job depreciates the value of luxury. Uh, personally, I won't allow with me 15 and sack bundles is 150 yeah. you just had to be there the money would come quickly quickly very obedient with the cake cake because i'm the ingredients in the cake cake one place you'll never see me is by the jake big cigars martinis by the lake boss still get a hundred by the face my connect still speak knowing Good, yo, it's real back here with Battle Rap Updates. Yo, check this out, man. My niggas who surf, yo, that guy is something incredible. He's never got locked up. Finds out my man never got locked up. You seen all this stuff on Twitter saying free surfs and all this stuff, and you jump on Instagram and do this? I mean, that's all I've seen out of that. Like, you're not even conversating, letting people know, like, this is a serious matter. You know, I was just locked up. And honestly, now that I think about it, you know what I'm saying? When Butterfly, you know what I'm saying, jumped on YouTube and said he spoke to Sue Surf. Now, I ain't the smartest man in the world, you know, but I'll tell you what. Vodafly would be the last person I call to talk to, especially when you're in jail. You only get a certain amount of calls, you know what I'm saying? So maybe you wanted to pursue your music career a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? After the Rolling Loud uh, concert, you probably was like, yo, I want to do this a lot more. And you loved the crowd and seen the crowd and was like, yo, I'm about to take my career to a different level. I don't know. But I tell you what, all this free surf and all that, you could have easily, because you always jump on Twitter spaces and all that. Why do you jump on there? You know what I'm saying? You know what it is? Because it's Sue Surf. He loves promoting. He loves to see his name all around media. That's what it is. I came to terms with it. So I don't know what type of stunt this was. Or maybe you are going through something, you know? But maybe it's not as bad as people seem or talk about. That's what I think. I mean, honestly, battle rap, a lot of y'all are not about that gangster life. You know, you guys are actually intelligent people. Like, you guys play with words. That's all it is. So, I already knew, like, all right, this guy spoke to Butterfly. What the f... And then... All these people are hitting up your manager to see what's up. And these are the responses. I had to show a couple of screenshots that I've seen on Twitter. Now, these is like, you know, little tweets from certain people and his, uh, I guess who starts manager responding to some of it. But then the news lady confirmed it like he never got touched, never got arrested, no nothing. I mean, the minute Tay Rock wrote, you know what I'm saying, free service, that right there is like, what the hell is going on here now? Like, this is definitely like a celebrity move 
or a public figure that's trying to promote something and just not shutting it down as as he should. Like, yo, there ain't nothing wrong. I didn't get arrested. I don't even know what the hell this is all about. You know what I'm saying? Um, but to serve is definitely, if not one of the best promoters in battle rap. So if his name's ringing bells all through media, he's gonna keep it going. Even his um his manager was throwing a couple of slick things about promoting stuff and albums. I mean, honestly, this this doesn't look like a scared manager that's about to lose money or his client. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, honestly, it looks like he's promoting. To me, it looks like, hey, I'm going to run with this energy and take it to the next step. Y'all tell me in the bottom if I'm looking at this any different than y'all. Um, besides that, like I said, I wouldn't have core Vodafly. Especially when you get a certain amount of calls in jail. I'm calling my main people to get the hell out of jail. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, his his manager said out of his own mouth, they already lit. Why would they have to do a stunt like this to stay lit more? But a lot of celebrities do this, especially when they're not in magazines or not in the spotlight anymore. They got to do something crazy to stay in the spotlight. It's just part of being a public figure. When you out there, that's it. Once you got that blue star in media, it's a wrap. You want to keep it, and you want to keep that 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 those views and that look up. You know what I'm saying? Where people look at you as you're important. Like you know what I'm saying? You can make power moves out here. Honestly, like I said, it's all weird to me. And y'all tell me what y'all feel like. Was this all for an album? Or Sue Surf is really in some real crazy ass, you know what I'm saying, bull crap. I don't know. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. We're going to stay keeping close eyes on this story right here and see where it's going to go. But you can never always believe what you see on TV. I've learned that in a young age. And then battle rap, you definitely can't believe everything you see. I mean, honestly, these guys, man, one minute they're, they're doing skits like they hate each other. Next minute they're taking pictures and hanging out at strip joints. I mean, it is what it is, man. Stuff is wild. But hit that like, share, and subscribe. And right before I go, I'm just going to play this little small clip of the news lady. She used to rock with Hot 97 back in the days, and she is definitely certified news lady. You know what I'm saying? Giving everybody an update on Twitter. So if y'all want, y'all can follow her and um, see maybe she gets, you know, further developments of this little story that's going on on Sue Sir. But I'm out. Don't always believe what you see. And uh, be safe out here, man. One. Sue Surf, there has been.